Are you serious? Are you serious? Grab a cup of coffee, if you will. Let's read from the Word of the Lord this morning. I'd love to read out of Ecclesiastics, which was, of course, written by Solomon, former king of Israel. The words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem, Vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor when he taketh under the sun? One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteneth to his place where he arose. The wind goeth toward the south, and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about continually, and the wind returneth again, according to his circuits. All the rivers run into the sea, yet the sea is not full. Unto the place from whence the rivers come, Hither they return again. All things are full of labor. Man cannot utter it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Is there anything whereof it may be said, See, this is new? It hath been already of old time, which was before us. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. I, the preacher, was king over Israel in Jerusalem, and I gave my heart to seek and search out by wisdom concerning all things that are done under heaven. This sore travail hath God given to the sons of man to be exercised therewith. I have seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all is vanity and vexation of the spirit. That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. I communed with my own heart, saying, Lo, I have come to great estate, and have gotten more wisdom than all they that have been before me in Jerusalem. Yea, my heart, had great experience of wisdom and knowledge, and I gave my heart to know wisdom and to know madness and folly. I perceive that this also is vexation of the Spirit. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Wow. Read that last verse again. For in much wisdom is much grief, and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. The more you understand how things work as it relates to the, this planet and to the human beings on this planet, the more it grieves you. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. It grieves you because you, after you understand the perfect creation of God and then understand the vanities, the folly, the mischief, the knowledge, it will grieve you because then you come to the realization how rebellious man really is. I'm Pastor Paul Bagley. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved because time is running out.
Bless.